or get pulled over yeah. campaign. Play it safe. And I know they recommend folks driving at night, but tonight, a little messy out there. Very I, messy. Tonight. Yeah, I, and it's just this little sweet spot right over Birmingham too, which of course that's where a lot of activities are going on right now and tonight and folks traveling in and through Birmingham. So let's revisit the radar. You see right along I-65 is where really a lot of that wet weather is at this time. Heavier rainfall up towards Aniana. That's where we're hearing some rumbles of thunder. We're tracking some lightning there as well. This will continue lifting into Etowah County. Gadsden going to be dealing with some wet weather down closer to Birmingham. Still some light to moderate rainfall in Hoover. So that's going to persist at least for another hour or so. Vestavia Hills down towards Chelsea along Highway 280 and then light rain from Columbiana to clear. It's finally beginning to dwindle a bit in the southern portions of Shelby County. Talladega County, though, a bit of a different story. Notice this line of heavier rain moving out of Winterboro, heading straight towards Talladega, even though Talladega is dry right now, and that will be lifting to that I-20 corridor. Kind of zooming out, you can see how these little air masses have merged together, producing that rain for tonight. Temperatures right now ranging anywhere between the mid to uh, upper 70s. You have 78 in Coleman, 72 from Birmingham to Alabaster, holding in the 70s overnight tonight, but by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning already in the low 80s. I expect that tomorrow highs will be back at around 90 degrees, a mainly dry Saturday. That dry slot of air will continue through early next week. Maybe a stray shower here or there Saturday or Sunday, but better opportunity for wet weather later next week. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.